Hi there, this is Leah and welcome to Create with Leah. Today I would like to talk about Etsy payments, how much I earn on Etsy every month. Well, I don't have one shop, I have several shops and I'm still expanding because um, as an Etsy seller you can have multiple shops. How much Etsy pays me every month? I will show you at the moment two shops because those ones are about to be closed. I'm closing them down. The reason is I'm changing my bank location and I'm afraid on Etsy you cannot change your bank location if it is completely different currency. So at the moment my bank is based in Malta and it pays me in Euro. But since I'm moving to the UK and I'm going to be using British pounds and I would like to pay my taxes in the UK, I cannot um, take that euro and put into British account. Then I have to keep paying tax in Malta. But the thing is, uh, I don't really have a good connection with Maltese bank because it's the only bank in, the, in Malta which is called Banco Valletta and there was some communication problem between Etsy and Banco Valletta and because of that communication error I am unable to get my funds into my bank account. Now I have to travel to Malta to sort this out but you know I don't want to face this problem after two years or three years or maybe God knows in five years. So I've seen on Etsy forum some people having this issue even after eight years uh, being uh, on Etsy. Some of them they opened up a shop in the US eight years ago and now they relocated to Europe and they are unable to travel to USA every time they have this bank issue. That's why I'm changing it to the UK and to the British bank and because on Etsy we cannot change the bank location unfortunately I have to shut down these shops and start two completely new shops from scratch. Basically it's the same shops with the same products it's just it will not have the same name because unfortunately on Etsy once you use the name you cannot use it second time so um, my channel is create with Leah and my Etsy shop is also create with Leah but now because I already used create with Leah with Maltese bank now when I move to British bank I have to use create with Leah Co, that means company, <laughs> and I cannot use just create with Leah. Anyway, let me share with you my last year income. Uh, this is my shop, which is called Course Hustle, and uh, as you can see in December, I've earned uh, 5,459 euro. That's in euro, okay? And in November, I've earned 4,256 euro. As you can see, you know, in euro, I don't know how much is in the US dollars, maybe 4,256, that's probably around 5,000 dollars from one shop. And 5,459 euro is probably six or 7,000 dollars, I think so. So, but um, as you can see in October, September, August, July, etc., I've been earning consistently around 2000 euro. And what happened that I started earning this good in November and December? Well, in those two months, I discovered the magic of tax. I started duplicating my products with different tax. In the past, I used to do a bundle of things. So I off, I say webinar in a box and I put there webinar sales page template, I put there webinar email sequence, uh, webinar slides, webinar scripts and webinar planner and everything into one box. But that one box, one item has only 13 tags. And because it has so many products in one, it, the price is also goes up. That was a wrong decision. The best decision is to create a webinar category and then divide those products into separate products. So in that category, I sell webinar slides separately, webinar sequence separately, webinar sales page templates se uh, separately, a webinar script separately. So then everything will have 13 tags each. And if in the past I used to have one product and only 13 tags, now I have 10 products and 130 tags. 
So if you do this way, your sales will explode. And that's what I did in November and December. When it comes to this year, let's check it out. Now Etsy's visual part, uh, especially when it comes to payments, have changed. Uh, so I now check month by month. So let's go for January. So in January, I had total sales of 5,283 euro, but after all these deductions with marketing and fees, I only earned 4,380 euro. That's how Etsy changed. In the past, Etsy was showing me one figure and I have to deduct the fees after, but now Etsy shows me the profit after the fees. So 4,380 euro is after the fees and fees are the listing fee. So they charge me 0.20 cents per listing. Every time somebody buys, it renews as a one listing. Then they charge me transaction fee. Transaction fee at the moment is 5%, but from April it's gonna go up to 6.5%. Uh, processing fees. Uh, that's something new. I didn't see processing fees in my previous um, statements. And also VAT. Because I've registered my VAT in Malta, I don't pay VAT to Etsy, but I pay VAT to Malta. And now we are in March and in March, I'm afraid I have this issue with the bank. But so far, it's not even mid of me. Yeah, it is mid of March and I've already earned 1,634 um, euro. But again, I've been closing down this shop on vacation several times because I have an outstanding amount from Etsy that I'm unable to receive into my Maltese bank account. So as you can see, it says we couldn't deposit your funds and um, Etsy owes me 902 euro at the moment. This error issue happened only five, six days ago. And since then I was unable to resolve it. So since then 900 euro still there and I still didn't receive that. So let me share this shop with you. So this shop at the moment has 11,148 sales and um, 722 reviews. So as you can see, all my reviews are five stars. There is not even one, one or two or three stars, not even one. Um, I think there is one or two four stars, but maybe even not. I think everything is five stars as you can see. So I've got uh, 722 five-star reviews in here and um, I know uh, it hurts me a lot to shut down the shop and start from scratch and lose all those reviews and all these beautiful you know, people writing so many kind words. Um, it's, it hurt me a lot to you know, lose the sales track of 11,000 sales. But this is a sacrifice I'm doing and I'm going to start from scratch and I will share my journey with you. You know, after two years or three years, that's gonna be 30,000 sales and maybe 3,000 reviews. And if I have this communication problem with my bank after two, three years, um, you know, it's gonna be difficult for me to always come back to Malta and always try to negotiate things because at the end of the day Malta is a tiny tiny island and um, if you don't live there and if you don't pay tax there you know there is no way you can keep your bank there. So my second shop it's also successful and um, as you can see December I've earned 5,306 euro and November 4,000 October 4,579, September 5,000, August 6,000. August was one of my most successful one on this shop. And then previously it was 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. And I only launched it in April 2021, which means it's only one year old shop. This year though, sales dropped a little bit. So uh, in total I had 3,831 sales in January and I've got 3,330 uh, euro in January. 
I think the sales dropped because of the current situation in, with COVID, uh, with war in the Ukraine and uh, um, the prices for energy and gas going up and things. This year, for some reason, my sales have dropped. I have a completely new shop as well that I've started only a month ago. I will share with you that shop in my next video, so stay tuned and goodbye for now.